again, everyone. Now that you are all warmed up, we can talk about what we will be learning in this week's lesson. In this week's lesson, we'll be learning some long handle skills and practicing those skills in a fun little game at home. The game we'll play is called hockey curling, which I'll explain later, but first let's review why we'll practice these skills. So why? Hockey is a popular sport and activity with many variations. You have field, ice, roller and floor hockey, and the sport can be very active and it provides challenges in a variety of different skills. Now one of those skills is moving or striking the hockey puck or ball. So we'll need to learn some steps for striking a ball or puck to learn that skill. And with that skill, moving the hockey puck or ball, you can dribble, you can pass, you can shoot. And the more skills like this that you learn, the easier it is to stay active and involved in fun activities for your whole life. So how, how are we going to do this? First, we'll need a hockey stick, but since most of us don't have one at home, we'll use a broom, which has its own challenges. Yeah, got a few brooms right here. We'll also need a puck or a ball. Now, there's a couple different options you could choose here. You can use a peanut butter jar lid here that I have. If you have a bean bag lying around, that'll work as well, depending on your surface. Or you could roll up a few socks to make a small sock ball here. So those are some choices. In class, we keep the blade of the hockey stick, that's the curved part at the bottom, below our knees, and we always have two hands on the stick. And that way you don't hit anybody or anything, and you have complete control over the stick or the broom today. Now you'll need to get parent permission today and make sure that you follow the rule of keeping the broom or hockey stick below your knees and hold on to it with two hands so that you're safe and you don't break anything. So we have to learn about what the steps are to move the ball or the puck in the correct form. And we'll do that and I'll demonstrate in my backyard. Hello everybody, we're here in the backyard. We have our hockey stick or broom. We are going to be using a sock ball on this surface because if we use the peanut butter jar lid or the bean bag, it wouldn't slide. I have two different brooms. Right now I'm going to demonstrate with this broom. The steps we're going to take to use the hockey stick or broom and to move an object forward or to pass or to shoot. First step is grip. So we need to know how to hold on to the stick slash broom. You're gonna take the hand that you like to shake hands with, your dominant hand, your favorite hand, and put it close to the middle. And you just act like you're shaking hands with the stick. Now we wouldn't shake hands like this, so we don't hold the stick that way, okay? I have that hand in the middle of the stick. The other part of the grip is your other hand. You're gonna have that towards the top of the stick or blade, and you're also shaking hands with the stick. Not this way but this way. Now it'll be a little different because we're using a broom. So that's the first step is grip. Now stance. How do you want to stand? In most sports, you want to have your feet separated just wider than shoulder width apart, your knees bent, but not your toes over your knees. So knees are bent, my back is straight, my stomach is strong, and my head is up. So that's about where my stance wants to be. Now with a blade, and a hockey stick, you'll have a curve down here along the ground. And you'll want to have that curve flat on the ground. And that way you have more of a surface area to contact the hockey puck or ball. We have a broom, so it'll look a little different. Okay, so notice the broom is not really close to my body. I kind of have a triangle between my toes and the hockey puck or ball and the broom. All right, and that is out in front of me. Now for the swing, another step for the swing. This top hand will be in front, okay, slightly in front. And my lower, my dominant, my favorite hand will be a little further back. Now when I swing, those are going to switch. And my top hand comes back and my lower hand goes forward, okay. So with a hockey stick, it'll start at the heel, which is the back of the blade and work up to the toe. All right, with the broom, of course, it's gonna look a little different. All right, so I have my grip, I have my stance. Now I'm gonna do my swing, and I bring it back. I can even step, 
and then swing. And now my hand is forward, this hand is forward, and this hand is back. If that hand is forward, top hand is back, that means you probably had a follow through, which is the final step. If you were to swing and stop right here, you're not gonna have any power. All right, you wanna swing and follow through. And in that way, if you look like this, with your hand forward and the stick forward, then that was a follow through, which means you had some power. Now today, we don't need much power in our game. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna kinda get used to using a broom like a hockey stick out here and sweep it around to get ready for my game. And then also think about the steps. Grip, stance, ready for my swing and follow through. Grip, stance, bent knees, make a little bit of a triangle for the swing, and follow through. Now once we come inside, if you follow me this way, we're gonna try a peanut butter jar lid here. And on a flat surface, this will work a little better. So again, I have my grip, my stance, my feet are separated, knees are bent, I'm going to sweep it along, and you can see it slides along that flat surface a little easier. So I'm going to continue practicing, and when you feel ready, we'll move forward. Let's get ready to play. For setup, you'll need parent permission. Then you'll need to separate two chairs and have them facing each other. How far depends on the space you have. You'll need one puck or ball, and again, that can be the lid to a peanut butter jar or a bean bag, or you can roll up a few socks to make a small ball. Put the puck and the broom near one of the chairs. Okay, everybody, we are now ready to play our game Hockey Curling. The object of the game is to score the most points by controlling where that puck, ball, or bean bag goes. So how you will play, you're going to start by the youngest player will stand to the side of the chair. They're going to be the first player to go, and they're going to attempt to sweep, hit, pass, shoot, whatever you want to call it, thinking through those steps that we just went over, across to the opposite chair. If you can get that puck to stop directly underneath the chair without hitting any of the chair legs, that is worth three points. So that means if you hit it across and it rolls and it stops right underneath the chair, you didn't hit any of the legs, three points. If it makes it all the way across and it goes underneath the chair all the way through without hitting the chair legs, that is worth two points because that is also very challenging. If you're on target enough to sweep it or hit it across and it hits a chair leg, that is worth one point. So if you're able to hit any of the chair legs, that is worth one point. If it doesn't hit the chair leg, if it doesn't stop underneath or doesn't go all the way through, then you get zero points. You'll alternate. So that means that you'll go, the person you're playing with goes, you'll go, your partner goes, you'll go, your partner goes, you keep going back and forth until somebody reaches 21 points. So keep track of your points after each hit. They keep adding on and on until somebody gets to 21. Whoever's at 21 first wins. Now, if you don't have anybody to play with, you can just see how fast you can get to 21, or you can see how many points you get in 10 hits. Okay, now we are going to demonstrate the game all while thinking about those steps that we just went over. Okay, here we go. Ready to demonstrate the game. Go ahead, Fred. As the youngest, you get to go first. Ooh, almost hit the chair leg. But since it did not, no points awarded. Now it's my turn. All the way through. All the way through without hitting a chair leg is two points. Fred's turn. Good job. Thank you. What a good sport. Ooh, all the way through, he gets Two points, so now the score is two to two. It's heating up. Stand to the side, get my grip, get my stance, ready for my swing, no defense, and it stops completely under. That is worth three points. So now two plus three, I've got five points, five to two. Fred, your turn, you can stand to the side of the chair. Oh, I'll give it to him. He hit the chair leg, that is worth one point. So now it is five, me, two, three. Okay, my turn, we'll go again. 
Two, ready? All the way through, that is worth two. Five plus two is seven. Back it up a little bit, you wanna be right to the side of the chair, just to be fair. All right. Hit the chair leg. Oh. And go, oh, very nice. So that is seven to four. All right, seven to four. Let's do two more rounds and then we'll stop. Oh, that went, it stopped right underneath. So that's 10 points for me. Remember, no defense. All right, so go ahead, you can go one more time. I was trying to make it one more time. 10 to four. He's gonna go one more time. Go ahead. And he hits the chair leg, so that gives him five points. We would continue this game until we got to 21 points, and whoever was to 21 first will win. And Fred, I believe we have to finish our video now, so it is joke time. And I broke my joke. It's Ooh. joke time. And it's so fun. Okay, what's your joke? Why did the author get stuck going in circles? I don't know, why did the author get stuck going in circles? He always had to go right. He always liked to go right, that's a good one. Okay, guys, enjoy the game. Have fun. Bye. Bye.